Hello and welcome again to Let's Talk Tachlis. We appreciate you being here. Today, like I always say, we have a unique, special honor to have a special guest, but today I really, really mean it. It's my real privilege and honor to have with us today the esteemed Rabbi Yankiv Yosef Moshkovitz, the Ruv from Kahal, the Besmerdish Borov in Monsey, New York. Um, Rabbi Moshkovitz took away from his very busy Erev Shvi'a schedule and came in the heat on the Memorial Day weekend, took his time to come from Monsey and join us here at the Let's Talk Tachlis podcast. Um, Arnold Rabbi Moshkovitz felt um, important enough this podcast to actually do it for us and we appreciate it and I'm sure our viewers will benefit very much from this from this event let's call it like this I want to with your permission can we do the interview in English because I think we have a big bigger audience that will benefit English speaking people and of course the Yiddish people as well so we'll try to mix it a little if it's okay with the roof sure so thank you so much for being here my pleasure. Okay, it's the week of before Shvius, and we all hope and have. I was last night in Ribnitz. I know it's uh, two blocks away from Druv's Besmedrash, and I was thinking that it's unbelievable that the bottom line, most people, I think, when they have, everyone has financial needs, everyone has medical needs, everyone has different hassles and problems and issues to deal with in life. The bottom line, people, I think, mostly down for the rochness of the children and the well-being of the rochness. And it's really an amazing um, mark of Klaalis soul that people are so into their children and they so, so desire and want their kids to be elech and idle and well-behaving and going in the day of and so this is, the, I think, the right week to show our audience and give, discuss a little bit the issue of Torah, the children, etc. So my first opening question would be like, how how does one have Torah, the children? Maybe it's too uh, it's uh, maybe it's a broad question, but it's a very important question. Actually, it's a very broad question, um, and it has probably millions of answers, and. Um, like as Rabbi Mezuk tells, um, the Bashem Tov said that who's going to he, be his predecessor, who's going to be after after him. He said that uh, it's going to be the one that you're going to ask for an Aitzer on Gave, and if he gives you an Aitzer, he's not the one, because there's no Aitzer. He's not qualified. Not qualified to be. So the same thing here is to, what's the t- answer how to have Elche children? It's a very broad, broad question. There are things we can do. Vice Mazuk Tachnuch has um, somebody asked in the middle of Belze, Ruf Shiela Belze, how he was Zoycha to such good children. So he answered a lot of Tfile and a lot of Tzaduka to the Maibalanes. Tamta Saduver is children, to have good children is basically Tfile, Tfile, Tfile. And number two, to be a good role model. If you are a bad role model. Zuk Tachnoch from Klausenburg Ruf. Klausenburg Ruf gesucht, but sometimes you see a father, David in Meshul, covered with his talus. His children are running around, turning over the place. He doesn't care about his children. And they grow up to be chushving a lot. Then you have a father schmizing from davening the whole time. And, and, and he keeps on pushing his son, new daven, new daven. And that child doesn't daven. Why? Because basically what he does, he looks at his father, and he follow what, follows what his father Copy does. Copy-paste. Copy-paste. We can't mention of no, no, no. So not, that's not the point. The point is, be a good role model. Show your innocence and honesty what you mean and what you want. And it has eventually an effect on the children. Interesting, my father, by my father's levaya, his brother, his brother said that I asked Moshe his father, his name was Moshe Meyer, how you were zoicher to, to children, to good children. It doesn't mean me, he meant others. Yeah, right. Yeah. You wouldn't be here if you wouldn't <laughs> mean you. <laughs> so how is zoicher to good children? He said, I didn't ruin it for them. 
Having good children means you're a good role model, you do the right thing, you follow the rules, you follow the aluchas, your eilich, and the kids automatically follow. Sometimes you'll have episodes, you have to yeah, push a little, you touch, up. touch up, say something, sometimes that's normal. But uh, to push and push and push and push when you're not up to it, it's a waste of time. Which you're talking about pushing, which leads me to another question. We expect today very, very much from our young children, from our Bukhrim, from our teenage, mainly boys, also girls. The program is packed from 7 in the morning till 10 o'clock at night. Is this a little bit too much to expect? Is this justified or... Or this is the way to compress into the day more and more and more and more davening and learning and davening and learning and davening and learning till the dead tide? It's a very good question. And I'm sure there are people that have different opinions. But the fact has shown when a child is busy, child goes to school, let's say a girl goes to school, and she's busy with a program a whole day. She comes home, she has homework. So she's tired and she has some time for her friends and talk on the phone and just spend some time to calm down. They do very well. They don't have time to get into nonsense trouble. and trouble and shtism and to be into the, in today's um, what's available. But if a person has a lot of time, Batulim Avila Dai Shimim, Batulim makes a person crazy because you don't know what to do. So if you don't know what to do, automatically you're going to waste your time with nonsense. And when you waste your time in nonsense, that's when you get into trouble. So rather give them... Ex- so rather give let them a full pack day, and that w- sometimes the child needs a break, give it to him. That's, that's fine. Yes. Take a yeah. day off and have it easy. That's fine. But mainly, they have to be busy. They shouldn't have time mm-hmm. to, do, so, to, do, to do much. So I guess um, the Rabbunim and the G'dayla do know what they, what they do and what they expect from the, from the Yeshiva. We should all see the results. Um, I, I don't always have the, the chance and opportunity to have in the Let's Talk Tachlis podcast a roof as a guest. So I want to just discuss a little, like, what's a roof's tough kid in 2020? I, need, I know a typical roof in the Altaheim was a roof. A roof kicked the Eugen, gelernt der ganzen Tug, and gepasst in Charles. But I, I, I think and I assume being a roof today is a little slightly different. So the answer to that, I defer. <laughs> I must say, it's not different. We look to Chnocha, the Reb Shema Soifer, a Gevara Ruf and Kroke. How did you become Ruf and Kroke? The Tanz Ruf pushed. Tanz Ruf pushed, the Reb Shema Soifer should become Ruf. After he became the Ruf and Kroke, it was a big, it was a big stella. There was a lot of competition. There was a lot of people up for grabs, up for, for the votes. And Tanz Ruf pushed it and he made it. After he became Ruf, he decided he's going to come to Tanz and thank the Tanz Ruf for it. So Tanz Ruf said, Tamid HaChachumim, they were bigger Tamid HaChachumim than you that could have gotten the job. The reason I pushed you in, because Zukta Aruf, Davzan, Avi Yisoyimim, Vedayan Amunas. Aruf's job is to take care of the Kehle. Take care of the people, take care of the people of the town. That's the tough kid of a roof. A roof is to be warm, to be accepting. And Kiddush Hashem, Kiddush Hashem. Kiddush Hashem means that when a person says, wow, he's such a person, I want to be like him. Emulate. When a roof is warm and caring, everybody says, I want to be like him. So this is the tough kid for a roof. Tough kid a roof is to make people love Torah because they see Look what Torah did to a person, and you can be a giving person. You can you can help out other people. This is a tough kid for Naruf. Pascal Shalos, sure, sure. But in any given time, today in the past, the roof is more busy with helping families than Pascal Shalos. Today, I, I don't know about the past, but today for sure. I see the women get white beards too quickly, <laughs> too early. It's not from learning Torah, yeah. Pascal and Shalos, although. Wow, it's really, it's really something it's we need to hear. And lucky are the people who have such rabunim who, who know the fifth shalchanur, as they say, and they connect to them, and they, they're there for them when they need them. 
We shouldn't need too many services, but it's very important. Um, uh, um, but I'm sure the roof has often situations that not such simple moments that people come and ask, now they come and ask, I'll take a flash, I'll take a flash, I'll take a Sometimes people come with very heavy, burdensome, emotional, and complicated um, shalas. And on one hand, a roof can say no, Nine, Usa. On the other hand, is if this possibility to craft and create an answer, to say a yes to something a little difficult, borderline, but maybe what's what's easier to say a big no and get get finish with the problem, or to say or to work hard and create a yes and make and Mr. Shem achieve something much bigger. So the answer is no can get it. Why is Koch the Tide Udif? So do you say in the Kachme? So do you mit it the Kachme? To make to make sure that you help out a person and you find if there's a hetter, why should you say Usir? If you can't find it yourself, if it's a Shwera Shale, why don't you get other Abunam involved to see how you can be matterate? I have to tell you the story. Had a yid that he had a shidduch from Florida, for himself. It was a second marriage, and he wanted to marry this woman. This woman didn't have a get yet from the husband, and the husband was in jail. So there was no way to get a get from the husband. Mm-hmm. Besides, the husband was angry at her, and he wasn't going to give her a get. And basically, we had to make sure that this couple gets married. For whatever Somehow. Reason, for whatever reason. So we started looking into it, got some Rabunim involved, and I called the Chabad rabbi that did the Siddiq edition the first time, did a lot of research, until I got the husband's mother on the phone. She lived in a state somewhere, out in the somewhere. And I was talking to her, and I was saying, No, tell me about you. Yiddishkeit, you're not talking about Chayokta, Fachayokta, Chasid, Shid. And she talks about that uh, we were traditional, and, and, and she says, Masih Lefitimo, I'm not Jewish. It's my husband that was Jewish, and because he was Jewish, so we kept at home certain traditions. When she said that, the answer was there. In English, they say bingo. <laughs> they don't need a get. Wow. They don't need a get. I called husband and wife. They were in Florida at that time, this couple. I said, fly over. Let's do a chasana. Brought them into shul. Prepared music. Rechaim. Prepared ten yidin. We did a chippe. Wow. And by that chippe, I was Masadic edition, Zex, Bruches, Ksibberleinen, um, everything. Alles. In Tigifit, I took one side of him. My wife took the side of her. But in Tigifit, after the chip, we danced a little. They went home and they lived happily ever after. Wow. The extra effort made someone live the Kedisha, the Tahara, made something happen that was impossible. This is the Tafkid. The Tafkid is always to try to see if we wouldn't find a, a, a way for him this way, we'll probably get to jail and get a get from him. We'll figure it out. <laughs> but this is our Tafkid, to get the hardest things to get, make sure that it's done right and done. Help the person. Go achieve. the extra mile. Go the extra mile and help him achieve wow, what he wants to achieve. Wow, wow. Um, a combination of two answers, the, uh, this story, And, and what the Ruf said before about being a VSM or Dain al I'm sorry, I'm going to touch something a little personal and a little emotional. And if the Ruf feels I'm too, I'm pushing too hard, I'll back off. But I remember, unfortunately, the very, very sad day when the Ruf Srebitsen passed away. And I went to the Levaya. And besides crying for the Eitzim loss to see such a young Hush of a lady, passing away, leaving the world. I was baffled by, I was mamash emotion. I, I feel like crying now, on the air. Yeah, 
that how the roof by the Hesped was able to focus and, and concentrate and have the the poise and the clarity by the Hesped to talk about the rabbits and the nifteris, to talk about the roof's own situation and feelings and loss, to talk to the children, to talk to them, them, the men, to talk to the ladies, as as Nushem, to acknowledge and give a thank you to the ladies who helped the rabbits do all her projects, or mitzvah projects. The roof stood like a CEO and, and covered as if it would have a list, a checklist to cover every angle of the situation. And my question is, how does the person have the koiches and the, and the mindset by seeing Nebuch Avab laying in a, in, a, in a box, and I'm sorry, I'm so graphic, but I, 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 I still feel like crying now, how the roof spoke so eloquently and so detailed about every part. How? I'm sorry, if, um, <laughs> if, if I see a deep breath, but, but so it's not a smile and not a laughing the question. The answer is, answer is, very push it, is basically you do what you have to do. When it comes to such a situation, part of the process is to make sure that, by the way, the youth out is now. Wow, in a week. Next Tuesday. Wow, a week from tomorrow. A week from tomorrow. The third, the third year. The, when you, my tough kid, as her husband, is to make sure she's put away to the fullest, the highest level of dignity. The highest level of dignity is when you bring out who she was, what she was, to whom she was, and you make sure you don't forget a detail. I was worried that I would forget a detail. So I sat down before, I locked myself into a room, and I wrote my details, I made sure I didn't forget any detail. It wasn't easy, but I think, I think the best honor you can give a wife is to make sure she's recognized for who she was, and I think I did that. Oh yeah. I think I packed her away with a lot of honor and a lot of dignity. And um, that's why I remember that everybody and everything that she was involved in, and wow. everybody that that lost, and everybody the loss of everybody, and the and the, the feelings of everybody. Wow. Well, I think if I think if Let's Talk Tachlis was established only to hear this this answer in how a person should use his koiches and decisions and resolve to to do what's right, I think for this alone. It was worth opening this whole project. Oh, well, it's very, it's very it's moving. It's, 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 I can't cry by nature. Can't. The direct can, opposite of me. You can I cry hit, in a minute. You can hit me and do, do whatever you want. You can shame me. You can. But the only time in my life I cried wow. was more than a lie. Wow. Otherwise, I can't. Just wow. But the heart, the heart is big. Can I say something I heard about the roof? Something uh, maybe too personal? I, I was at the Semcha a few weeks ago, and the roof's name came up in the conversation. So the person told me, oh, he's the Tzadik of Monsi, you've said. Okay. Everyone knows that. So I'm saying, I'm, I'm it's sure the roof... It's a matter of opinion. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure, so, is, uh, I'm sure the roof is crying enough in, in, the, in the heart. If, if the roof is not crying in, with the, in the eyes, the roof's crying enough in the heart. Wow. But only just laughing and wow. Okay, let's switch to something much happier, much, much more current and relevant. I mean, much more conversational. I know that um, the roof was selected to be the Moira Derech and Moira Asri of this next very, very big undertaking in the Yiddish world. This very big project of someone who is going to build and develop over a thousand homes for the Yiddish Oilem in, how is it, Chikobi? Okeechobee. 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 I know I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fail over here. Okeechobee, Florida. And I was very, very impressed that the roof was actually selected to be the, the leader and the, 
And the person in charge of the Rochnius and the Tachlis and the Toilis, we're talking about Tachlis, this place is all about Tachlis. And I think in Mietz Hashem, if and when this will work out in a couple of years from now, this is going to be one of the biggest Chidishim and inventions in the past 20, 30 years in the Yiddish housing market. It can be Mietz Hashem, a very big help for so many parents, so many couples to have a little different style of life, a quieter life and a, and a quality life. And it's very, very impressive for me to, to hear who was selected to, to, do, to be in charge. So I want to talk a little bit about this project. And maybe the first question should be, why, did they, why, did, why does the roof think you were selected to do it? <laughs> That's a good question. Probably you have invested some money then, no? Uh, no, I didn't. And I think maybe you should go ask them. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think I don't know the answer. <laughs> so I, do, I, I don't know. I don't know, this is a long time, there was a lot of talks going back and forth. First, there was an idea about elsewhere. So they were saying that maybe I'll come there, but um, I didn't see that's going to work out. But it was a conversation. And when this came up, I thought this was a very good idea because it's something that Claudius Rowe needs. Big time. And it's very well structured, extremely well structured. Good people behind, solid, ehrlich lawyers, accountants, and, 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 and saluting a lot, that um, have the money, the money's secured. I felt extremely secure with this project. And they gave me the authority, and they're behind me. They asked me every question, every shahla. Wow. And, and I'm not saying that I know it all. Right. I don't. Absolutely, I don't. But my task is going to be to hire the professionals in every detail. So it's going to come to cash. We have over 800,000 square feet of, of, of uh, supermarkets and stores and everything in the restaurants, everything's going to be near a hersheh. I'll be the Rav Machshe, but I'm bringing in a memche in cash. That's also moving there. Wow. And he's going to be the Rosh Mashkichim, the Rosh, the Rosh Marechus HaKashas. Then we'll have a memche coming for Ayrev. We'll have a memche coming for Mekvuas. Wow. Everything is going to be, that, that's my job, to bring in that memche and make sure that it's, it's maintained in a cushion and it's, it's uh, well kept wow. and it's, it's uh, done right. Wow. I mean, the Moise is the same thing. It's not like I'm the biggest memche, but we're hiring. In, in, in the school, we have a lady, her name is Mrs. Elze. She's known that she runs a lot of schools. For the Chayde, we have Reb Shemshen Revitsky. Uh-huh. Also, wow, big memche. Also, big memche and chenech. Then we'll have a shiktana. So everything is brought in the right people to make sure that it's a very well established establishment. Wow. Obviously, they they know. And now I'm starting to get the answer. The roof didn't want to give me the answer, but I, I'm figuring it out myself. Why the roof was selected? Wow. So really, you you can tell the world that this project is advancing and people are registering. Like what's 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 happening a little bit so, in the field? So it is advancing very much. Shockingly. It's uh, as of today, it only launched like right before PM time, I think PM mm-hmm. time. And by now we have over 600 wow. applications. Like serious. Serious. With deposits? And a lot of them with deposits. A lot of them have an issue with, with uh, uh, coughing up the money or about commitments, very strong commitments. And they'll eventually have to give the deposits. I don't think there's ever, I go somewhere, that's, uh, I went yesterday, a few people came over and said, I'm coming. Wow. I made chasna, by the chasna, by the Shabbos offer, wherever I go. Can you leave I'm for me coming. one house, please, there? <laughs> so there's, there's, a, there's a very strong demand, and, and the people are coming. And now we're discussing about a big kehillah coming in, and um, we're coming in with 200 families. Wow. And there's all kinds, there's bells, there's satme, there's rechmas trifke, there's uh, mm-hmm. babu, there's uh, all kinds. And I tell everybody, it's not ultra, and it's not um, it's not like um, cool. It's not light. Outside. It's not light. A normal, settled. Uh, the woman has good experience in the Vesmedosh and the Kehila. Not not chenyakish and not light. Solid. Solid. Elch normal. Malabatish. Malabatish. Friendly. No, no machloikis. Machloikis free. This is this is my my yisod. It's going to be a machloikis free kehele. I don't know if it's possible. Call it zero. Yes, Hashem. But with Naib Shesil. Uh, absolutely. The, 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 the truth is that has, uh, there shouldn't be any machloikis. We make sure that there will be a lot of rabunim, a lot of shtiblech. Met Hashem will be a vada rabunim. Tamid achom ma'am shulam wa'elam. Naib Shesil. We have dayunim coming. We have magachirim coming. We have babatim coming. 
Rache bebat hem, pusht bebat hem. Wow. Wee, 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 eerlijk. Wee, wee, normal. Wee, wee. Wow. En uh, in de field, things are, things are happening, things are advancing. So the, the f- in the field is... I don't expect the houses to be built ready. I know it takes a long time, infrastructure and everything, and approvals and stuff. But things are advancing, people yeah, are working there? Uh, things are advancing. The infrastructure, the roads are coming in in two months. Wow. Uh, starting in two months, the financials are secured. There's money in the bank to, to, build, to build the first phase. First phase is 300 houses and, then, and uh, then the second phase. So it's not going to be a big difference in first phase and second phase, but it's going to go one after the other. They can build around 30 houses a month. Wow. That's how they're set up. Wow. And, um, so which means like in three years, they can probably finish the whole the project. The whole project. The wow. goal is that summer, before the new school year of Toshin Paidalit, we should be able in to move years. in. And the rule is that you can move in. Single, just single family it has to move in between 150 and 300 families at a time. Because that way wow. we can open the moises and we have full classes. Wow. And we'll, we'll, we'll a, lot of, a lot of thought went into this. Absolutely. It's not an overnight story, this. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. I want to point out, I, I did a little homework before our interview, and I, I saw a clip of how the roof is explaining how the registration process works. So the roof is talking over there that you need the names, the name of the children, the occupation of the father and the mother, a um, few more general questions, and the roof is taking the time to explain why we need every part of the application. Now, usually when I fill up application to, to go to a hide or to yeshiva, to a school, or to get, to get a job, I, I, I don't get a chance to ask the people, why do you need all these questions? They tell me, you want the job? You want the, you want the slot? Answer these questions. If not, thank you, have a good day. And I see the roof took the bother to explain that we want to know what, peop- what, what people are doing because in case we can benefit and we can assign them certain jobs. We want to know what, how many children, what ages, because we want to make sure the Moises are all lined up and accommodating everyone. We want to know what the mother is doing. Maybe she needs help. We want to know what, what the financial situation of the people are. Maybe they can contribute or maybe they can get help. And I was waiting for the minute, the roof should trip and say, and we also want to know if you fit. But I lost, I lost the battle, the roof won. It's really amazing of how how pure and 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 tachlesdik and ernst the 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 goal is, and I, I can't believe how the roof is really not not making any conditions and any as long as someone is fine and royal and has a decent interest in living the Yiddish how, how how does how do you have the koiches and and the 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 broad mindset to to be so serious about the goal and not and not trip, as I said, with the side typical questions that most yeshivas and Moises and Kehilas are asking people. It's a very, very good question. It's a very fine line. So we wish I would answer that question. It's not my tafke to make a selection. It's the tafke of the person putting in an application to decide if he belongs there, if he should come. Wow. The message that we put out wasn't that we don't want you. The message that we put out was a clear statement who we are. Now you decide if you should come, if you shouldn't come. So you start presenting the, the, the positive. We stay positive. And, and you hope to attract. And he t- called everybody tzaddik. Mm-hmm. Called everybody tzaddik. Everybody came in tzaddik, tzaddik. So one time a person comes in and says, Rebbe, so I'm a tzaddik. Rebbe says, of course. So I'm a tzaddik and you're a tzaddik. Let's be a mishadach. Tzvay tzaddikim. Mm-hmm. So the Rebbe answered, you be a mishadach for your tzaddikim. I'll be a mishadach for my tzaddik. <laughs> what I mean to say is, if you put out a message who you are, then everybody can come. If you feel that you will... I had somebody that called me yesterday. He's a Bachiva kind of family. Mm-hmm. He considers himself Hasidish because he's done as a Hasidish table. But his children and his wife, nobody knows Yiddish. 
I said, listen, you have to make a decision if you want to come. I didn't say you don't belong here. Right. You have to make a I said, this is going to be Yiddish speaking Moisit, Yiddish speaking Kehena. You decide if you can. So just remember, it might be a culture shock for your kids. Decide. I wasn't going to tell him, don't come. That's not my job. Mm-hmm. Your job is to accommodate and to make comfortable the people who decide to come and, and who, sure saw, who saw what the kill is all, going to be all about and they decided to come, so let's, let's work them up. Wow. Amazing. I wish you had much more time. I know you have to go soon. Back to Monsi to, to run and prepare for Yom Tov. Maybe Zeruf can give us a, a nice concluding um, message to Kuvit Martin Teure, to Kuvit Shvies, and to have the audience of Let's Talk Tachlis take away something, Rochnitz Dick, also from this amazing, warm and personal interview. So, 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 like, uh, it's like the beginning, it's so broad. So <laughs> yeah, the <toire laughs> in the yam, yeah. Yeah, but uh, but it's uh, we're about to do Kabul Satoya. And um and uh, the biggest part is the biggest part of Kabul Satoya means that we accept the ways of the Torah, the Mahalakh of the Torah, and what Hashem wants us that we should see in the Torah. In today's days it's such an open world. And truthfully, the open world is much more exciting, much more tempting than the toilet. Sadly. That's what it is. So you know it's more fun, there's more lights blinking, there's more there's there's more something that pulls you in. Pulls you in. At the end, what do you have? Like they say that the Aitzahara is just like when you hold out, hold out two hands and you say, Okay, in which hand do I have the quarter? Mm-hmm. Which hand do you have the quarter? And everybody starts guessing and then he shows it's empty. Both, 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 both empty. Are, both empty. That's the same as he pulls you in. We get so pulled in, and when we start believing that this is the truth, and this is who we are, and this is what we should be. But then it says, if we think, the real, the real Deir HaToyre is, accept what the Rabbi Shabbat wants from you, accept the Torah, follow the instructions. But that's why we know when there's Aluch, you don't budge. I don't know, I can't do anything. This is Aluch. Why? Because this is what you can't say, but... I saw on Instagram that somebody wrote uh, that that you might not. Sorry, aluch is aluch, right? So the same thing is if you if you if you pull to that direction, you'll stay empty-handed. If you pull to the derech hatoyer, you will benefit, and not only really benefit, your children will see you and see you how sincere you are, how elch you are, how normal you are. You're not into nonsense and garbage. You will have nachas. Wow. You're well, amazing. I want to really thank you for doing the big effort. When I make small revelation that I know the Ruv Baruch Hashem for <coughs> almost 40 years, and we had a for two plus years in Yeshiva in Eretz Yisrael. So, Bishar Chapa, look what, the, what became out of the Ruv, look what came out of me. But Yom Kippur is coming in a few it's months. Also, it's also a matter of opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thank you so much. I get you on the I really, really appreciate you being in the stock tachlis. Call